The GigRig G3 extension kit enables you to separate the audio section of G3 from the floor controller section of G3. This means that you can have your pedals in a rack or in a board separate to the floor controller. The G3 extension kit is sold separately to G3. When you receive your extension kit, it'll come in a box and in the box you will find the seven pin DIN cable that connects the floor controller to the extension kit. This is the back panel for your floor controller and we have the actual extension kit itself. Okay, let's start taking G3 apart. In the box with the extension kit, you will receive everything that you need, uh, the Allen key to take these uh, screws off the front panel. And we just put that front panel to the side as we're going to need it. Next, we will undo the hex screws at the sides of G3. So now we'll undo the top row of screws on the back of G3. So now the top panel of G3 will lift out. So inside you'll see some ribbon cables. The first thing we're going to do is take out the ribbon cable that connects the motherboard to the top board. There's a clip in there that you'll need to undo and then just nice and carefully. Now we're going to put the top board to the side for the moment. Next thing we need to do is undo the clip on the motherboard and then just remove that small cable completely. Next thing is the removal of the tuner cable from the MIDI board to the backboard. So now we're going to tilt the unit up and we're going to remove the four hex screws on the bottom of the back panel. Now those screws are undone, we can remove the back panel from the base. So we're going to undo the clip from the large ribbon cable to the motherboard. And we're going to very carefully pull out the large ribbon cable. Lovely. Underneath the large ribbon cable is a smaller cable. Again, undo the clip. and take out the small cable. So now the base is completely removed from the backboard. What we need to do now is take the motherboard out of the base. There are four screws in the base. Just make note of where they are because you will need them in a minute. We'll pop the motherboard to one side Pop the base to one side. The next thing we need to do is remove the backboard from the back plate. There's a whole bunch of little nuts and washers that need to be undone here. If you want to use a socket, that's a 13 mil socket. Hang on to the nuts and washers and then the top panel should just pop off like this. We can leave the MIDI and the DC input because we've got a separate circuit board for those. So we are basically done with that back panel now. We can put that to one side. So now we'll put the backboard into the extension kit. When the back panel gets taken off the backboard, you'll see this large ribbon cable and the way it's folded. We need to fold the ribbon cable in the opposite direction. So we're gonna lay it flat and then we're gonna fold it underneath itself, just like this. From there, the cable is going to go underneath the back panel circuit board, just like that. Extend the two ribbon cables away from the back panel of the extension kit and we will now put the back panel into the extension kit. It's really important that on the outputs and the remote switches that we use those little black washers because they take care of the isolation. 
It's also really important that when we are doing these nuts up that we don't over tighten anything. Um, by all means, use a 13 mil socket, but just do it up by hand. You don't need to wrench anything too tight. And again, we use the silver washers and the nuts on everything from the input right through to loop 12. So you can see that all of the jacks on the right hand side have those black isolation washers and everything on the left hand side uses these steel washers. Beautiful. So there we have the back panel of G3 in the extension kit. So now we need to attach the motherboard to the front panel of the extension kit. So the motherboard gets placed on top of the standoffs on the front panel of the extension kit and using the screws that you undid from the motherboard in G3, we simply screw the motherboard onto the front panel of the extension kit. Again, there's no need to over tighten with these, just get them nice and snug. So the motherboard is now connected to the front panel of the extension kit. All we need to do now is reconnect the ribbon cables and the tuner cable to the motherboard. So the first cable we connect is the black and red tuner cable that connects into the input of the motherboard. The next cable we connect is the small ribbon cable underneath the large ribbon cable. So that gets plugged in and we put the ribbon cable clip on top of the ribbon cable and that just snaps in. So the next cable is the other small ribbon cable. It gets a little bit fiddly here. We need to bring the front panel up to meet the ribbon cable. Once that's in, we need to attach the clip. And now we do the same thing with the large ribbon cable. That just slots in place over the small ribbon cable. And again, we grab the clip. There we go, that's all connected now. Now we just fold the front panel towards the back panel of the extension kit. So it's time to screw the whole thing together. We do provide you with small uh, sort of countersunk uh, screws to go on the top of the unit to keep it all nice and flush. And then we have the same situation at the front. We just use those little flathead screws. And that's it. The extension kit is now put together. So now we'll put together the floor controller. So now we'll grab the base of G3 and we're going to put on the back panel of the floor controller. So the first thing that we do is we connect the expression pedal board, the, um, the seven pin din board onto the base with a couple of Phillips head screws. And now we will connect the back panel of the floor controller to the base of G3. Now the back plate is connected, we will connect the top board and that is just a matter of taking that ribbon cable and connecting it back in to the top board. Grab the clip. And now we just grab the hex screws and reconnect the front panel to the floor controller. When you get to a stage where you're putting everything together, it's important not to tighten up the hex screws too much. Allow a little bit of movement, and once the hex screws are in, then you can tighten everything up. And now we just need to attach the front panel to the floor controller. Again, there is only one way that this will go on, so it will help if you remember which was the front when you took it off. With the hex screws, it can be helpful just to put them in by hand first. 
and then use the Allen key to tighten them up later on. And that is it. So now if we take our extension kit and we connect the extension kit to the floor controller, remember that you can either plug this into the front or the back of the extension kit. So now when we apply power to the extension kit, you'll see G3 lights up and away we go. So the only cable connecting the extension kit to the floor controller is the seven pin DIN cable. So you'll see we have the seven pin DIN cable and you've also got the two connections for your two expression pedals. And that's all you really need on stage uh, by your feet and then you can have all your effects and everything off stage connected to the extension kit. There you go. Well done, bud.